especially on backlinks. Um, there's one angle uh, on Mets, right? If I have a lot of backlinks, I'll probably, you know, uh, rank higher. Um, so there's a Met. Yes, it, it's one of the signals, but that's yes. not the only signal. Um, you have hundreds and hundreds of signals, um, and people actually <laughs> spam. People actually spam with bad URLs. Um, it's easy to game that one. If that would be the signal, it's so yeah. easy to game. You just buy a bunch of links, really, and then you're like, whoa. Hello and welcome back to SEO Mythbusting. This is the beginning of season two and uh, we have listened to your comments and feedback last time. So in the first season, we were basically taking questions from developers and busting myths that are coming from developers. This season is more on the SEO side. And the first one is really exciting. It's Sandhya from Microsoft, and uh, you're on the team that makes the Bing Webmaster Tools. Absolutely. Thank you, Martin, for inviting me. And uh, it's amazing to be here and talking to you uh, as two search engines. Yes. Uh, yeah. And we are not like isolated from each other. We are working together to make search better for all the users on the web and for yes, all the webmasters there. Absolutely. Whatever we speak today is going to be my personal opinion. I'm not a Microsoft spokesman. Uh, Person, so yeah, we'll yeah, get pretty much, pretty here. much the same on my side. So what we are doing here is exchanging our personal experience, uh, working in this field, working in this community. What would you say is actually the most frequent myth or question that people are coming with to you? All right, yeah, one of the top questions we ever hear uh, in all forms of communication mm -hmm. is. How can I rank on the top, right? Yes, <laughs> that's yes. like number one that's question. That's number everywhere. one question from everyone, everyone literally. Literally, yes. and um, it's interesting that they're very passionate about mm -hmm. it, but uh, we can't help it. No, um, and because end of the day, we are trying to meet the users' needs and uh, what they really need, um, yes. and. Uh, we try to match the need and what they have. Um, so we try to educate. And there's hundreds them. of factors. Yes. Right? That we, it's not that we can turn a knob or something, mm. or we go into a database and go like, change that number <laughs> from five to two, and oh, boom. No, that never happens. No, I mean, we can't. There, there is a myth. There is a myth that we could, mm. because some people actually reach out to us and say, hey, can you help? You yeah. know, can you tell us exact steps what to do? Um, and we try to help help as much as possible in terms of giving them, you know, what are the fundamentals they have to yes. do on the website, uh, and if they have the right intention. Yes. Um, and, yes. Um, but it's all in the uh, public documentation. You don't get private support from yes, either you there or are webmaster, me or, yeah. Yes, and they're all there in the webmaster guidelines, yeah. both on Google side as well as in as Bing, Bing as well. Yeah. Um, so I think if they follow that, I'm sure for the right intent, they will rank on top. Exactly. Just put the user first, and you'll be doing fine mostly, right? That's yes. that's kind of the get the basics right, and and you'll you'll be doing all right. All right. Uh, and I find it interesting, and like sometimes people get really creative. Mm -hmm. Like I got like a message on Instagram asking about <laughs> ranking, and I'm like. What's happening here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I do get, we get direct messages on Twitter, oh. uh, sometimes especially if you're active yeah. out there. And sometimes even um, on emails, support. Mm -hmm. Support is understandable. Sometimes they try to figure out who knows you, mm. and then they reach out through that the as well. Um, kind of thing. Yeah, 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 they do that. Um, this is interesting because like we get all these these requests coming in, and like people ask us questions yeah. pretty much all the time in all sorts of channels. And I know that we are not one person facing these questions in the, mm. the public eye, and you're not one person on the team either. So you have uh, Fabrice Canel, and you have Frédéric Dubois, yes. and it's you and it's others probably in the yes. future as well. Um, what we see happening is that sometimes we get asked the same question, each of us individually, to figure out, like, are we responding the same way? Do you get that? Yes, absolutely. We hear that a lot because we see the similar pattern coming through. So we we try to be try to give the same response at the end of the day. Uh, otherwise, they would can't. get you know yeah, take it they, in different exactly. contexts mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, That's the thing. The yeah. context. Sometimes these questions depend on so much context, and then mm -hmm. someone asks you a question given this context, and the answer is A. But then the same question given a different context, the answer is B. Yes. And then people like to ditch the context and then mm -hmm. go like, but Take Martin it. said <laughs> A. 
Yeah, and they would take it literally. They take it literally. Yeah, so uh, we're very conscious about it. What we do is when we say it, we we try to do a little longer, bigger mm. sentences so that it's not, you know, yes, that's do. That's probably will take it in a different context. Good we try point. to cover that fully. We try to uh, share as much and be transparent yes. as much. Yes. Um, if it's taken out of context, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, there would be some incidents yeah. like that, but it's a, it's a challenge. Sometimes it's a, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I'm sure, like Yandex and Baidu, probably do that uh, same probably. thing as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Do you also have the feeling that uh, certain things are getting a lot better, and we're getting a better understanding, and and also the tone is nicer and, and more constructive? Or how do you? What do you think the the trend is in the community? I think people are much more aware. Uh, I think there is a lot of evangelism, you know, what happens behind mm -hmm. the scenes. I think um, if you think about like people understand how search works. Yeah. Uh, earlier there was a concept yeah. in terms of, hey, they're probably kind of doing some manual actions and things like that, but pe now people know it's not true, right? Um, the other thing which we also see, now, I don't know if you've seen from Google is, hey, I am advertising out here, will I get ranked higher? Oh, yeah, <laughs> do you yeah. Hear we, heard, that? we hear that, we hear that, yes. Yeah. Do you have that as well? Yes, <laughs> we do that. <laughs> so it's very, so we say no, ads is very different ranking and organics very different. Yes. You know, they, they're very separate, you don't want to mix it. Absolutely, there's yeah. a very strong separation between it and oh, I'm yeah. sure you're doing the same thing, yeah. yeah. So a thing that I wonder, and maybe that's just my personal lens mm -hmm. uh, to it because I am very technical and coming from a technical side of things. Uh, I think the community is picking up more and more technical SEO and like getting more technical and looking mm. at the technical details. Would you would you say the same or is it different for you what you're seeing? No, they are definitely getting technical and they're doing a lot of work especially, you know, trying to give us um making sure that mm. we understand that, you know, the content behind yeah. it, right? And you know, what's the intent, what yeah. what is the website? They do a lot of work. But um one thing we also notice is that uh, they forget the fundamentals oh, in the grand yeah. scheme of things, right? Why they're doing it. And uh, a classic example is the blockers and robots text. Um, and you're not able to crawl them. Yes. Hey, hey, why are you not crawling me? Hey, you blocked me. Yeah, you, <laughs> and that's you're telling us we, we shall not crawl, but you're not crawling me like, uh. -huh. <laughs> yeah. So we actually developed a um, couple of tools for mm -hmm. that. And uh, we have a very fair being bot. Uh, the reason we did that is because when we talked to all these people, hey, why are you blocking us? They said, hey, you're crawling me too much. And then say, hey, we really, because we have mm -hmm. logs and stuff like that, and we found that it's actually somebody masking as being bought and they were crawling. That uh, happens a lot, doesn't it? Uh, yes. And then um, so we're basically telling them, hey, check out the IP range. And we said, you know, this is the IP range from which Bing bot will crawl you. Mm -hmm. If it's different, you know, then, you can just block it at your server yeah. level or let <laughs> us know and then we'll figure it out. Well, you're also having the, the indexing API that you can basically submit content. Yes, in. URL submission, we call it URL. Submission, right, API. submission API. Um, websites can actually submit mm. URLs, especially if it's new or updated, ah. and we allow them instant, uh, you know, very fast indexing, mm -hmm. instant indexing of that. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a push mechanism rather than a pull mechanism mm, as yes. robots and crawling have been. Right. We've also done something called scroll control. You tell us if it's peak business hours, then we won't crawl you. Tell us, in, you know, off peak, that. and then you know we will yeah. crawl you during the time and give us a, tell us the rate, and that's a good signal. That's, a, that's a really really cool tool. So I've after that, that it's got better, but Ooh. it's still mm. uh, it's still so, out there. Um, a lot of people still do that. We do get all sorts of support requests, like oh, I have this problem that every now and then, or not every now and then, like every day. Mm. Uh, Googlebot crawls all these pages that I set to no index and, mm. and forbidden robots TXT and we're like, are you sure that it's Googlebot or not? Yeah. It's like someone masking at Googlebot mm. and then it usually turns out if you do yeah, the reverse DNS masking. lookup, it's someone else masking as Googlebot. Yes, yeah. um, there are so many crawlers out there. Uh, we're seeing like a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, so the robots TXT is a fantastic example yeah. because it has been a basically de facto standard, but it yes. is not really a standard. Mm -hmm. But I'm really happy to see that we're all working together and getting it into an actual standard yes, and, and making that more explicit these days. That's right, that's, that's right. That's really, really cool. Yeah, and I saw the articles, very nice, and we've been right. working, yeah. Gary is working with y'all, and, and yes. it's, it's so nice to just get everyone together. And we are, as you say, we are all trying to service the same same intention customer, and the same, same customer, exactly. Absolutely right. And we are not plotting each other against each other. It's no. more like trying to figure out and learn from each other. I really, really like the crawl control tool, and I mm. wish we had that 
But um, yeah, it's yeah. It's, there are so many tools out there which you have. Yeah, <laughs> I wish we I, had and some you're of them. You're built. integrating with them, right? If, yes. if I'm verified in Search Console, I, I am automatically verified in uh, yes. Webmaster Tools. Yes, in, we in just Bing. released that. Um, you know, one of the things like, hey, it's so tough. I mean, when we mm -hmm. talked to webmasters, they said, hey, it's so it's very time consuming to verify, and yes. they noticed that. Uh, the same verification mechanisms are also there in Search Console. So we said, hey, if the same verification mechanisms, they will honor that. And you know, you've done all the work, so we'll honor <laughs> it. Um, you can actually keep both of them in sync together, yeah. right? Uh, you verify, you can import your sitemaps, and yes. you know, you're all set in sync, Super making cool. it so easier. So I have an interesting challenge that I wonder how you're dealing about mm -hmm. this, uh, because it is very hard to get people the right guidance on this. And when I'm saying that, I mean mm -hmm. JavaScript, right? Mm -hmm. So we both know JavaScript is probably the most expensive resource you have on your That's website right. because yes. images are not that expensive. Yeah. Even video, you can pass more or less as it comes mm. in, but JavaScript, you can't. On one hand, people are building really cool things on JavaScript. On the yeah. other hand, I don't want them to entirely rely on JavaScript. That's right. It's a really narrow path to navigate. Yes. Uh, what what are you doing on, on these things? Uh, so it's very similar, right? End of the day, the challenges are, uh, it's very expensive. Uh, and the first thing we have to figure out is the intent. Mm. If the uh, website or the uh, page has the right intent, and if you're able to figure out the intent behind it, it's easier to prioritize. Yeah. Sometimes you would just have like, you know, just execute a couple of JavaScripts and no intent, no title, no yeah, description, yeah. no meta description, none then of you're that. Like, oh. I'm like, we don't even know what it is. Do we really want to execute? So that time, it, you know, it's a challenge because end of the day, you have a certain set of resources, and you, you have figure to use out that reasonably. Yeah. Reasonably, it's a ROI <laughs> question, um, and I think that's a judgment call, which you know we would encourage the it's websites to right. actually do that. So would you say it's a right balance? It is a balance that you have to strike. So would you say? Um, I mean, a client-side rendered application in JavaScript is not a problem by itself. It's just more expensive, and you have yeah. no hints up front. So you, you can't figure out the intention. You do not mm -hmm. have the title. None, none of this exists until the JavaScript is, is executed. What, would you say that server-side rendering and like hydration is a good way to fix that? As in, when you ship an, a bunch of intent, uh, mm. uh, initial content to the browser, yeah. and then use JavaScript to enhance it for the user, kind yes. of giving you a yeah, balance? Yeah, the right balance, yes. You need to do both of them, uh, because at the end of the day, you also want to make sure um, it's a lively page, right? I mean, it is, it's rich. Yeah. You want rich results as well to serve your customers, and especially in this world, people want uh, you know richer results. Richer results. Um, so you need to balance that. So mm -hmm. some server side and some client side. Is so that's right a that's a ah, mm. lovely to hear that we are aligning on recommendations again. Yeah. Uh, this is really cool. Mm. And do you also uh, sometimes get these weird questions where people are leading with a random third party tool? Like, oh, we have this tool, and the score in this tool is 75, <laughs> and I don't understand why we're not ranking higher. And you're like, yeah, that's the, uh, the DAs. And oh, all, the, all <laughs> of these lovely metrics. So I'm like, hmm, fantastic. That's good. Um, you know, they need some number and metric, um, and um, they try to ask those questions, but you don't have an answer because that's not the only signal. Um, there are multiple things. There's a user. I think a lot of people really don't understand that there's a query intent. Yeah. Um, you know, people really think about the serv serving side and what they have in the index. Yeah. Uh, people forget there is a query intent. You know, there's a user intent behind it, and that we have to match. I think that education is not yet there uh, with the audience. I think if we do a little more on that, people would understand. Hey, there is a query intent, and then there is you know. You know the, that would be, uh, yeah. You know, the document intent, right? So you, we can kind of sum it up into like, rather than just looking at a number that a random tool gives you, try to understand what your user needs and what the intention is yeah. and then serve that intention. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's, I mean, it's just an education. People need to get to know that. That is very, true. Yeah. But um, we keep saying this for years and years I mean, on end. And yeah. It's, it's not yet landed this yeah. way, I, I would yeah. feel. Like, it's um, unfortunate. But... I think we have landed a success in, in like getting an overview of what the community yes. brings to our tables and uh, to like share that we are not 
like different in that sense. We are yeah. basically seeing the same kind of like challenges, and we're seeing like the kind of the same kind of re recommendations. And if you do same stuff, all the search engines would pick up exactly the same stuff. Yeah. The fundamentals are very, very yeah. similar. There could be some differences, sure. but that's sure. you know that's expected. Exactly, um, the secret sauce is a little different. Different, but, but the fundamentals are you know the same across all search yeah. engines. Yeah. So hopefully, people will get to the point of serving their users and have very nicely clean intent pages. And um, yeah, we are seeing more interesting things coming in the future. Yes. Thank you so much for being here yeah, and, and talking so about all of this with me. Yeah, thank you so much, Martin, for inviting me. This is wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> thank you. All right, in that case, thank you very much for joining us and mm -hmm. uh, enjoy. Hey there, I hope you liked the video. Um, this is my next guest, Alexis Sanders, and in the next yeah. episode, we will be talking about... Crawl budget. Crawl budget. So, stay tuned and check out the next one to learn more about what we have to say on the topic. See you there, everyone. Ciao.